All right, back working on the XJ again. Finally got several coats on the Alien four-wheel drive diff cover for the Dana 30. Uh, looks absolutely badass. So we're gonna get the old one off, uh, pretty simple. And then we're gonna paint the bolts black prior to reinstalling. Um, damn near the nicest looking piece that I'm gonna have on this Jeep for now. But uh, we'll get started and I'll show you what we're doing. We're also gonna use, like I said, I use royal purple on everything. So we're gonna use some of these nitro gloves just to uh, keep our hands somewhat clean. And we'll go from there. All right, first thing first, like I said, this is the front uh, Dana 30 diff. Basically, we're just gonna remove these bolts. We're gonna break them all loose. Um, you can go ahead and take out the bottom ones. Make sure you got a drain plan drain pan sorry in place don't take the top bolt all the way out yet you want to just loosen it because what you'll probably have to use is use a screwdriver uh here or a um putty knife something like that to break the seal uh and drain the fluid out i'm not going to be able to uh, hold the phone and do it at the same time but um should be pretty self-explanatory all right we got the uh, all the bolts out like i said half inch minus one at the top which we got it loosened one thing to point out, um, these little bands here that you're gonna have on your front and rear diff basically just tell you what gear you have in the unit, uh, actually in the carrier. So I'm not gonna put those back on um, inside on the actual gear. It's imprinted what the, what the gear ratio is. So, um, you know, write it down. You can put these back on if you want. I don't, cause it's gonna take away the look of the uh, Alien Machine Works diff cover, um, but I know what gears I have in this. Um, worst case scenario, you forget, what have you. Um, drop diff cover and it'll be on there. So we're gonna get back to it. So I just use the screwdriver, get it up in there a little bit. Then you gotta kinda work it around to get the fluid to drain out. As you can see, these gears and front end have been taken very well uh, well, taken good care of. That's why the fluid's not burnt, um, anything like that. And then we'll let most of this fluid drain. Pry it a little bit because we still have the screw up top. The lid won't fall down. And so on until it's done draining. Then we'll take this top bolt out. Not sure how well you can see it, but so right in here, you'll have to turn it, which I can't because I'm on the ground, but right in through here, somewhere on this ring gear, it will have what your gear is. So while you're in here, you want to check the teeth, make sure there's no wear, anything like that. Um, all looks really good in here. We're going to get this drained out, spray some brake cleaner here, get any metal residue off, and see what happens. While we're waiting on that to drain, I want to get a shout out to sponsors, donors, or whatever on this project. Um, Royal Purple, uh, all lubrication parts uh, for this, gear oil, diff oil, um, engine oil, uh, auto fab. Got the uh, hood pins for me, Craven Speed, the stubby uh, radio antenna, Mobile One. If you have an XJ, I strongly suggest getting the hood pins. Um, got these from Auto Fab. They're not specifically made for a Jeep, but pretty universal. Simple process. The only complaint is you have to take off the front housing totally to get to it. But if you know anything about XJs, it's always a common problem with the, the hood sticking. This alleviates that. Just pop these, they go back up. Uh, if you want a video on how to do that, just let me know. You do have to reuse and replace the factory springs in order to get the hood to pop up, but be glad to show you that. And then uh, if you're going off-road, you definitely got to have a, a stubby antenna. Um, we all know why, because the other one will get ripped off. Uh, this is Craven Speed, the original uh, that made them. Of course, you can get them in 50 caliber rounds and all that other stuff, but just went with the, the normal one, uh, supporting their company. Uh, but she's a work in progress, and she'll be good to go here before too long. Working on a bumper right now. Um, got a heavy-duty uh, bumper to support the 12,000 pound winch. Uh, I got it in raw steel because it was about $250 cheaper than powder coat. 
Um, painting it up now, first coat, looking pretty awesome. So uh, we'll get back to the diff here in a minute. All right, so k and actually Spectra, uh, provided me the tubing to go for my snorkel uh, down, Taboo Customs. I've got the uh, vented um, hood vents, I guess you'd say for it. Uh, Aussie Locker for the rear, which is a uh, Chrysler 8.25 29 spline. Uh, Volant is the, uh, it's a cold air intake, but I fabricated it inside my factory box so I could still utilize a snorkel. Works perfect. Um, Alien Machine Works, which is the diff cover we're working on now. Um, OPR, Open Road. Uh, I've got a uh, 12,000 pound winch uh, that we're putting on this thing. Uh, like I said, we've got several other sponsors. Uh, XJ No Doors uh, sending me the pins. Uh, to put in so I can make the doors interchangeable. Um, obviously, paint will be the last thing done uh, on this and some tires. A um, couple things is here's the hood vents, Taboo Customs, absolutely phenomenal uh, equipment. Uh, a lot of the other stuff is, is uns. One more, one more thing while we're still waiting. So my snorkel I got here, right? In order to install a snorkel on this year XJ from, was it 97 through or up, you have to remove your windshield washer fluid reservoir. So basically what I've done is relocated it up under the bumper, which I'll have to change that. Oh, here's my puppy that wants to be in the picture. Luna, uh, relocated that up to the front and I actually cut it in half, put it back together um, where it's holding fluid and then ran my fill tube um, out through the hood or through the grill, my apologies, put a plug in here so I can refill it and still utilize it. A lot of people just do away with them. Uh, you can also buy one from an older mod or X XJ and relocate it, which is smaller. You gotta rewire all the, the pumps and, and brackets. Another thing, um, if you have your buddy that comes over and helps you, uh, he thinks it's cool just to dump oil on the, the hood of your Jeep. So uh, we'll get him back for that. But anyways, we're gonna get back down here on the diff cover. And what we're gonna do is we need to go around this outer edge here, uh, clean off any of the residue uh, that's on there from the old gasket sealer, whatever, which you can see quite a bit of it here. Um, you can take a Brillo pad or small wire brush or something like that if you need to, or some sandpaper, but uh, typically I just scrape off the old, uh, wipe it really good. I'll spray a bunch of brake cleaner in here to clean it all out, let that drain, and then um, re-put caulking, or I'm sorry, Permatex all over the uh, the new diff cover, put it on there. Uh, it's important, I've screwed this up several times being in a rush, let it set up for a good 24 hours um, prior to refilling it with fluid. So basically what you wanna do is get your Permatex on the, on the diff cover itself. I don't ever put it on the housing, but put it on the diff cover. All the way around, then put your bolts in, get them a little tight, um, but don't snug them up. Uh, let it sit there for a while. It'll adhere and then you know in about 12 hours Tighten them down to the torque specs which look them up because um, something I hardly ever use is torque specs But look them up um, Torque them down at that point and then put fluid in and then obviously check for leaks Make sure it's wiped off really really good Prior to putting fluid in there so you can tell if you have a new leak or if it's the residue from from where you drained it So give me a few and then we'll get the diff cover on so here's the diff cover installed. Got a little crazy on the Permatex, but it is what it is. Obviously this is phenomenal uh, quality. Looks amazing. Uh, got it in, I'll let it set up for probably 24 hours. Then I'll torque the bolts down, fill it with fluid uh, and go from there. Definitely recommend this. Alien Machine Works.